think we're ready to start learning how to blend colours correctly. We've got another PDF file for you to download. We're going to do one blend using opaque colours and we'll do one blend using transparent colours. I've printed out two copies, so I'm just going to cut around one of these rectangles and just use it as a mask. This isn't the type of mask I had in mind. I'll just grab a little bit of tape and I've just set the stencil in place and taped it there. Hey, so we're going to mix three different colours. The first one we'll mix is around this colour here. It's the colour just before the highlight. It's really the base colour of the whole image. The second colour we'll mix will look something like this. This is what we call a mid-tone because it's really the middle tone. That's clever, isn't it? And the third colour that we're going to mix is our shadow tone, the darkest tone. That will be this colour here. We're going to use a primary yellow, blue and red. Now if you've got the warm primary colours, then go ahead and use these for skin tones. You'll also need white and black, which I'm not going to show you. Start mixing your skin tone by adding your white to whatever you're mixing your colour in. A paint jar, paint cup, paint bottle, anything that holds paint. Add a few drops of yellow, red, and depending on how dirty the colour of your skin tone is, you may need one or two drops of blue. Add drops at a time, test it on these little colour cards. This is just a thick white paper, I think I've used 200 GSM paper. And I've mixed up my skin tone, now I'm just going to put that in the airbrush, spray it on one of my little colour cards, and I'm just going to get my blade and cut a little triangle out and compare it to my reference. Now to match my mid-tone, I'm going to grab a bit of my original skin tone, put that into a separate paint bottle and add a little bit more red, or blue and a couple of drops of yellow. Now I'm just going to start afresh to mix the shadow tone because I don't want any white in it. When you mix your colours, never, never, never mix black and white together unless you're going for a grey. Well, let's start blending these skin tones. By first laying down the skin tone, we're going to blend it out into the white. So I'm going to load the mid-tone into my airbrush. I'll start blending the colour out from this line and do 100% intensity from here back. Before you lay down a darker colour, make sure that it has 100% of the lighter colour underneath. One hundred percent, don't get any of your mid-tone colour in this section. I've just put the shadow tone into my airbrush. You may notice that I'm not using a lid because I'm too cool for school. Just blending out on this one third. Colours look pretty good. So I'm going to mix up three transparent colours and I'm going to repeat this process. The golden rule with transparent colours is that you're not going to add any white. So you're going to be using the white of the paper. So let's put our mask back on. Next colour. Next colour. Yeah, great. Transparents and opaques. Ooh. Well then, let's do a quick little experiment and have a look at just what transparent colours can do for us. If this was an artwork, I would not be happy with the finish of the colour because it's dull and lifeless. To fix that, I'd go in with my transparent colours. I've got the darkest transparent colour that I used in the airbrush and I'm going to lay a bit of that on the first half of this bottom section. 
Now I'm going to empty that colour and put straight yellow transparent into the airbrush. And without going onto the white, I'm going to blend the yellow from this side. Now you can see how much more depth and how much brighter the colour has become. This is why we use transparents. Opaques first, transparents on top. I guess transparents like to be on top. Remember, Airbrush Tutors on Facebook, Twitter, and for any questions you've got, check out the link in the description.